All right, guys, welcome to another episode of CUDA Education. Today, I want to discuss a couple of topics, so I'm just going to get right into it, and then I'll figure out how to label the video and everything. All right, so um, today we're dealing with the Vulcan API, as always. Now, in the Vulcan API, we have a thing called a swap chain, right? Swap chain. And all a swap chain is, is a series of images that are sort of lined up that eventually are going to be presented. So this, this over here, we, we're going to call uh, presentation. All right. So all of these swap all of these images in the swap chain are are being uh, prepared to go are being prepared to go into uh, presentation, which basically being presented on your screen. Okay. So in order to do that. Vulcan. I'm not sure if you can see this part on the screen, but it's okay. Vulcan API. So we have our swap chain and we have a series of images that are eventually are going to go to presentation, which means, um, which means presenting on the screen. So as you can see, the images are being lined up and they're being prepared um, so that it could, it could go on the screen. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about a couple of concepts before we um, get into this. Uh, the first thing that I want you guys to, to, um, to consider is that um, images are being taken out of the swap chain. So, let, let's just deal with one image, right? So this is this is one specific image that we're dealing with, okay? So I'll take out all the other images in the swap chain and we're just dealing with one image, right? So we have our swap chain and we're just dealing with one image. Um, actually, let's do this. So we have our swap chain, we have our image here, not a good representation. We have our image here and then we have an image with a color here, okay? So what happens is that an image is acquired from the swap chain, right? So an image is taken out of the swap chain and we normally, so we have an image acquired, right? And we have a, a, a signal to tell the world that an image has been acquired, and we call that a semaphore, okay? So we have an image acquired from the swap chain, we call it a semaphore. And then on the other end, we have an image returned to the swap chain. So this is also an image, and this is also one semaphore. Okay, so we have a semaphore here, semaphore signal. Okay, so we have um, image taken out of the swap chain, image returned to the swap chain. But notice there's a difference. The image taken out doesn't have color, the image returned has color. In this case, it's a black color, right? So what happens in the middle here? Here we have a series of constructs that um, happen in the middle and i hope you guys can see this on the screen if not tough luck okay so we have um we have what is called a command pool right and then within the command pool 
at least this is my representation of it. It might not be perfectly right. We have a command buffer. Okay. And within the command buffer, we have a render pass. And within the render pass, we have um, a frame buffer. And within the frame buffer, we have an image view. Within the image view, we have an attachment. And then within the attachment, we have an image. So something along these lines is what happens in terms of, in terms of when we take something out of the swap chain, we have to do a bunch of things in order for it to, to for the image or the frame to be change so that it now has color so we have a command pool which is um you know basically managing memory and hardware allocations and stuff we have a command buffer which is basically a series of uh a series of operations that are used to manipulate the image that has been received to to to, to represent what we want we have a render pass which gives you the ability to to make modifications to the image we have a frame buffer. A frame buffer basically wraps around the image view, and the frame buffer. What the frame buffer does is it um, it takes data or bits out of your hardware memory and and transforms it into an image that uh, we can see and understand. So the frame buffer wraps around the image view, which wraps around the attachment, which wraps around the the actual image. So notice that there are a series of operations that happen here in order for us to eventually get a colored image um, that, that we want. Now, in, in my tutorial number eight, which I'm gonna post soon, I'll, I'll have a link to it below once it's, once it's actually posted. In tutorial number eight, what we're doing is we're taking a triangle, we're taking a triangle and then we're making the triangle colored. Okay, so the, the triangle now has color in it. So we have a regular triangle, we have the vertices and everything, maybe some lines around it, around the vertices, and then we make it, um, we give it color. So in order for you to do this, you need to have this construct here. And uh, we are dealing with parallel processing so with parallel processing, you need, you need to um, have signals. You need to have signals that tell, tell the, um, well, first of all, tell this process that, okay, yes, an image has been acquired from the swap chain. Yes, you can perform these operations on the swap chain. And once the, once the operations are finished, you can uh, you have another signal that says, okay, the, the operations on this image are, are finished. You could now return it back to the swap chain, which eventually would lead to presentation. So there are two semaphores that are, are, are dealt with here. The semaphores are GPU to GPU operation. So this is, this is all happening on the GPU and um, the semaphores help with GPU to GPU operations. There's also CPU to GPU operations, which is a different topic of conversation. So anyway, guys, we have our swap chain, which leads to presentation. We have images in the swap chain. We do operations on the images by taking out the image, doing stuff, and then returning it back modified. And then it eventually leads to presentation. And we tell Vulcan and the powers that be that, hey, you could now present the image to the screen as a frame, all right? So, uh, 